I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really simple way to sew fringe on a dance costume. It's so much easier than you think. So if you're looking for some movement out on the dance floor, this is a great little thing to know how to do. So the thing about sewing fringe on that you want to remember is fringe doesn't stretch. So if you sew it exactly on the item you want it to go on, it is not going to stretch. So um, that short becomes that width. It's as if you have non-stretchy fabric that you're using. So you'll want to remember when you're sewing it that you always stretch the fabric so that it'll bounce back and stay in place. And that way the dancer can get it on over her hips and back. So I'm going to use a marker for this. I would never do this normally, but it'll be easier to see on camera. The reason you never want to use a permanent marker is because if that line gets a little off, everybody will see that. So I'm going to say with this fringe that I'm using, um, I think it's about a five or six inch, maybe more. Let's see real quick. Um, six inch, but I want to have multiple layers uh, just so you really see the fringe. So you could go closer like at the four inch mark because when it stretches, it's going to separate. But in this particular case, I'm going to sew um, two rows on. So I'm going to mark this one. I want both rows um, to be relatively close together so it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead, go below the elastic and mark on here, one inch past the elastic. So that'll give me about an inch and a half in this case um, that I will be sewing that onto. So then we'll move this out of the way and you can see that line. The reason that's important is as you stretch, if you don't have a line mark, it'll end up wavy like that. So let's go ahead and set this over. And the thing about fringe, you always need more than you think because when you're stretching it, it's gonna shrink up a little when it goes back down. So let's go ahead and pull the machine over. Now, when I do fringe, I always do this bottom layer first and work my way up. Now we could put another layer down here if we wanted, um, really play with it, put it on the dancer, look, pin it up, see how many layers you want. Um, the reason I work with this layer first is because otherwise, okay, let's go ahead and remove this, it'll make it a lot easier, um, otherwise, you're going to be messing with fringe trying to sew underneath it and it'll create a problem. So let's go ahead. Ah, where is the end of that fringe? Okay. Now with fringe, you'll see that um, one end has threads in it uh, holding it together. It makes it a lot easier to sew. After you're done, you'll simply pull on those threads and it'll unravel. It makes a little bit of a mess, but then your fringe will be loose. It works out a lot better that way because um, if you pull that thread first, then you've got strings going every which way. Um, I always like to start with a clean piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that in. Definitely put it on a zigzag. Go nice and high on that. And let's get this down. Um, if you pin it, make sure that you pull the pins out. So you're going to want to stretch this fabric, and then that way you can really see that line. And you're just going to zigzag it. Make sure and get the whole piece of thread or the whole piece of the um, strings, um, this top part, because otherwise you'll really get some warping. Let's see. Okay, so stretch that out and then put that on there holding the string taunt. You'll want to make sure to try this on the dancer once you do one row. Um, we'll make it a lot easier because if you sew all of it down and find out that it's too tight, there's going to be a problem. Um, if that happens ever, go ahead and clip in between some of these strings. It'll give a little bit of room for it to stretch some, but um, it does mess up the integrity of it a little bit, but sometimes you have no choice. So go ahead and stretch this out and keep sewing. And then I just like to do a few inches at a time because otherwise that line really can get warped. 
And as you work your way down, just make sure and untangle all the threads. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to the next row so that you don't have to sit here while I sew the entire thing. Um, and then what you'll do, once again, make sure it's going the right direction. And then I'm going to sew that just under the top. That way this edge can be rhinestoned. And then we're going to work our way around. So if we were trying to sew underneath this, it would really be a problem. And make sure not to pull on that while the needle's coming down because it'll snap your needle. So tug it. Oops, my thread just wants to keep breaking on me. And I'll just re-thread that. If you notice it broke back a little, just back up and keep moving forward after that. It's really easy to do. And just stretch. Maybe I want to go a little bit slower because it seems to want to keep breaking. There we go. Keep untwisting. Don't be intimidated by fringe. And then... So see, we've got two rows of fringe now. You could do even more if you want. When you're getting to the end of the fringe, remember, still hold it tight. You're going to want to make sure and cross over when you get to the very end. And then just zigzag back and forth, locking it into place. Just like that. So on the fringe, there's some almost like fishing line looking stuff. If you pull that from the right side, if it doesn't work from one side, switch sides. It'll just all snap apart. And I'll just really easily pull apart. Um, if you're having a problem with it, just go a few at a time. And it's really easy to do. It's kind of fun, little messy, best if it's done over a trash can. And so then there's the first row loose. Um, something you'll want to remember about fringe, you might want to steam it, get it nice and straight pieces so you don't have that crooked edge on it. Um, but it's really simple to do. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you wanna get our free complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearcom slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.